It's a clear Saturday night here in Bozeman, Montana, as we prepare to see the Weber State Wildcats and the Montana State Bobcats square off here in week six, I want to say this is. Montana State coming into this game on top of the Big Sky Conference after a big win over NAU last week. Boyd Osborne, their quarterback, has not had a great start to the season. One touchdown to four interceptions. Avery Johnson, who is actually the backup running back, having to play due to injury and whatnot, just over 100 yards for him in their few games. Their leading receiver, he's got 300 yards. Their offensive line definitely hasn't been great. Jenkins has 23 tackles. That's enough to lead the defense. Hawkins has the most sacks and this team only has two interceptions to their name so far. They are 0-3 on the season. 0-1 in a conference play. Meanwhile, Montana State after a great start to the season. The best that we've seen in this entire series, taking on two of the top teams in the nation, then dropping their last two games before bouncing back against the Lumberjacks a week ago. And now look to keep our foot on the gas in conference play. Avery Johnson's going to get the first play from scrimmage. He takes it right up the middle. A solid run there. They give it to him again. Once again, going right up the gut. And he's going to pick up a gain of nine. Osborne looking to throw for the first time today. Over the middle. He's got his back. Johnson. And that's going to move the sticks. Nearing midfield, Osborne driving back to throw. He's got time in the pocket, throwing that one to Thompson, who is tiptoeing down the sidelines there, picking up enough to move the sticks. Play action pass here, and it's going to be broken up. Good job by the defense there as they force the incompletion. Now we see a fullback dive right up the gut, gashing the defense enough to pick up another first down. Weber State's really been moving the ball well on this drive up until there, where we get in there for the sack. Montana State forcing a third down and 16. This would be a really long field goal for them, so they're going to try to obviously pick up the first down. They're not going to quite get that, though, as Wright has the catch, but that will get them into field goal range. This is going to be a 42-yard attempt up and good. Weber State's on the board first. Carter's going to get the football, and he's going to get gobbled up in the backfield, taken down at the line of scrimmage. Brett McPherson getting his first career start as a Montana State Bobcat, and his first pass of the game is into a little bit of coverage there and incomplete. Looking to throw on third down over the middle. He's got Marcus Lumpkin, the new impact wide receiver. He only picked up nine yards, though. He needed 10, and Montana State's going to punt. Faking the toss, and then Osborne runs out of time. Sacked on the play for the second time today. Montana State gets to him, forcing yet another third down and long. Coming out in the offset eye formation, Osborne evading the pressure. Firing that one over the middle for his man Wright, who's going to be about a yard shy of the first down marker. And they're going to be punting the football away. So back-to-back -back punts by each team now. Carter's going to go right up the middle on this run and pick up positive yardage there. Entering the second quarter of play now, McPherson floating that one over the middle to absolutely nobody. Third down and seven, McPherson wants to throw for this one, and it's going to be over the head of Marcus Lumpkin. A couple of passes getting away from the five-star freshman, and the Bobcats have to punt the football away yet again. Trying to get the ground game established, but Avery held it just a single yard there. That pass into some coverage just falls incomplete. Third down yet again for Weber State. Osborne looking to throw as he's under some pressure. And it's going to be broken up by the last second by the linebacker. He had that in the hands of Avery Johnson who couldn't quite secure it. And now they're going to have to punt on fourth down. McPherson throwing back across his body there as he kept backing up. Not sure why he's doing that. It's going to be an incomplete pass. Third down and long. Floating that one to the left side again. And once again, these passes just keep getting away from McPherson. A one for six start today. But we have the football right back. And we're not even going to need the offense to get out there. That's going to be a scoop and score for Montana State. Finally getting on the board. If the offense isn't going to score, the defense is just going to have to do it themselves. Now trying to force the three and out. And how about another fumble? On the ground, scooped up by Montana State. The defense coming up clutch with the absence of the offense so far in this one. Toss play to the right for Carter. He's looking to throw the football. He doesn't get the pass off, though. Weber State not falling for that one, taking him down for a loss of seven. Over the middle, we've got Will Black, though, converting the second down and long, setting up goal to go for this MSU offense. McPherson looking for the end zone, but he doesn't have enough time to get that pass off, and he's going to be sacked. Looking to throw again, McPherson rolling to his left, throwing that one on the move. Incomplete pass. They're trying to connect with Ross Lewis for the touchdown. 
McPherson looking to throw again, but he's got a wide open running lane. He's going to take it. He's not the fastest in the world, but he can still run diving for the end zone. That's going to be our first points on offense. Montana State now has the two score lead. Just over a minute left to go in the first half of play. And they're going to try to put together a two-minute drill. Or maybe just cough up the football again. This time they do jump on top of it. Avery Johnson with the recovery, but losing 10 yards. The clock continues to run, and they're still playing this kind of aggressive here. Osborne all day in the pocket to throw, but eventually time is going to run out. That's going to lead to a third down and 27. And they're just going to be taking the conservative approach. Now, maybe they should have done that on second down. Montana State's going to use a timeout to try to get the football back and score before the end of the first half. Punting that football away. Lumpkin from just across his own 40-yard line. He's going to take this one across midfield now. Gets past the other 40. Past the first down marker. Gets just inside of the 30. And we've got time to work with. High snap for McPherson. Dropping back to pass. Floating that one over the middle for Black. He's got him just inside of the 10. And the Bobcats are going to use their final timeout with 8 seconds to go. We cannot afford to take a sack on this play. Going to the corner of the end zone. Pass is going to be broken up. 5 seconds left on the clock. And we're just going to take our points instead of risking a touchdown. Uh, you're risking trying to get a touchdown. Maybe getting sacked or running out of time. That will take us to the break where we lead by 14. We get the football open up the third quarter of play. Ryan Carter making some moves as, as he takes that one right up the gut for first down yardage. If we can get a touchdown on this drive, I mean, we might be able to put this game away. Weber State's offense has not looked great since their first drive. McPherson pressured and dropped in the backfield, sacked for the second time today. That's going to lead to a third down and long for Montana State. Pass is going to be caught. He's got Will Black for another reception. Black coming up clutch a couple times so far in this one. McPherson play fake and he rolls right into the sack there. That's the third time they've gotten to him today. Spreading things out now on second down. McPherson's got time in the pocket letting that one fly over the middle for Marcus Lumpkin. Showing off why he's an impact player now. Setting up goal to go for MSU. McPherson wants to throw for the touchdown. Pressured rolling to his left. He's got another rushing touchdown. Montana State extending their lead out to 24, or actually to 21, excuse me, after they hit the extra points. And Weber State could be in some trouble. Handoff to the fullback, and he's going backwards on that play after picking up some initially good yardage. He probably had four or five yards there, only ends up picking up two. Morris is going to get to him for the sack. Montana State's defense has been looking great so far today, other than the three points they gave up. But honestly, like giving up a field goal ain't that bad. Pass over the middle. We're going to be caught by the fullback. Shy of the first down marker. That came on third down. Fourth and one. Do they dare go for it? No, they're not. Have they already given up on this one? Handoff goes to Nathan Cronin, and he's going to get into Weber State territory. Neither team's been running the ball great so far today, but Montana State has definitely been better. We've definitely been better passing the football, too. Lumpkin over the middle with another big-time reception, and that should set us up just inside of the red zone there, down at the 13-yard line now. McPherson stepping up into this one. Nice spin move by Will Black. Spun into the end zone. Touchdown, Montana State. And a great throw there by Brett McPherson. He thought about running it there. Threw it at the last second. Black pulls out the spin move. And Montana State just keeps enjoying this lead and making it even bigger. We got another fumble on the play. Weaver State jumps on top of this one. Murphy with the recovery. Taken down for a loss, though. Third down and 11 as we're now into the fourth quarter of play. Osborne's pass is going to be caught by Murphy. He is not going to be picking up the first down, though. Fourth down and six. And once again, they're not going to go for it. They, Yep, they've pretty much given up on this one. And now Carter breaking through a few tackles. He's down inside of the red zone. His best run of the game so far gets us down to the 18-yard line. McPherson throwing that one to the left side. And intended for Marcus Lumpkin. Good defense it looked like there. Second down and 10, McPherson firing that one over the middle. He's got a tight end for six. A second passing touchdown from Breck McPherson, his fourth total of the game, as he does have those two rushing touchdowns as well. Third down and two for Weber State on the ensuing drive. He's going with a fullback dive. They're not even trying to win. Obviously, they're not going to be able to down by 35 with just a couple minutes left to go in this one. Hit Thompson on the quick slant there, and he is off to the races. Fogel's not going to get him. Weber State finally getting into the end zone. Some garbage time points at the end of this one. 71 yards. 
They will attempt the onside kick here, and Montana State will recover it. Turner there, he's the one who gets on top of it, and there's two minutes left to go in this one. Carter running up the middle, pulling out the spin move here as he's trying to get himself a rushing touchdown in this one. A minute and a half left to go. Handoff goes to Carter. He's going to take this one to the left side. Inside of the 20, trying to make a move. Doesn't really do a whole lot, but he gets spun down inside of the 10. Looking to extend this lead even more now just for fun. I mean, we're just rubbing salt in the wound at this point. McPherson throwing that one on the move. Touchdown, Turner. And that's just going to extend this lead back out to 35 now. Great throw by McPherson throwing on the move. And that will be the end of this one. Montana State dominating. 45 to 10. Weber State drops to 0 and 4 on the season, and it's not looking good for them. Meanwhile, Montana State looking pretty good in conference play so far. Back-to-back -back blowout games. Also, back-to-back -back games where we had a really slow start. I mean, uh, last week was a kind of an ugly game here, uh, an ugly game, and we blew them out. But it was still bad enough for uh, Matt Henshaw to get himself benched for Brett McPherson, who had three touchdowns in this one, but I mean, the defense played great, and I feel like even with McPherson playing pretty good, he definitely could have played better. There were a lot of areas where I didn't think he played super great. He had a lot of bad overthrows, especially early on in the game. If we can fix those, that would be superb. The defense played spectacular. I mean, look at all those sacks we got. We got, what, six sacks on the game there. We got ourselves. Did we get any interceptions? Actually, no, we didn't, but we did have two fumble recoveries including the scoop and score. Idaho gets their first win of the season, and it is a blowout over Portland State. One of those teams had to win that game, and the Vandals dominate. Montana gets their third win of the season as they advance to 3-1, giving Sacramento State their first loss of the season. And finally, Idaho State defeats NAU 45-21. That's going to be a wrap on today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is always appreciated. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.